The internal program we have for money is created by our past experiences. We shape the image we have for ourselves based on what we have learned, especially in our early childhood, and through any events that cause an emotional impact on us. In fact, we don't just carry blueprints for money, we carry them for everything. This includes relationships, friendships, the careers we choose, our health, and every other aspect of our lives. However, these programs can be altered to carry out a new way of being that attracts what we now choose. To do this, past conditioning around abundance or whatever it is that we want to change must be addressed and revised. A new system of rules needs to be programmed internally to change the outward conditions. To attract more abundance, it's imperative to reach within yourself and be honest and clear about what your financial program consists of and where it came from. The most efficient way to do this is by thinking back to your younger years and asking yourself a few simple questions. Pull out a piece of paper and write your answers down so that you are able to see what your program looks like in tangible form. Number one, ask yourself, what did I learn about money when I was a child? These are definitions about money that you would have incorporated very early on. For example, you may have learned that your parents struggled to pay the bills. Or you might have realized that there was enough to pay the bills, but any extras such as vacations and new clothes were out of the question. Or you could have been taught that you must work really hard to make the bare minimum. Number two. Ask yourself, what did I hear about money when I was a child? You may have heard such things as, we can't afford that, or there isn't enough this month to add that into the budget, or the famous line that many of our parents told us, money doesn't grow on trees. Number three, ask yourself, what was my personal experience regarding money when I was a child? This question relates to your lifestyle and what you saw around you as a result of money and how you felt because of it. For instance, you may have lived in what was considered a low-income home and felt shame. Or you might have seen the other kids wearing the latest styles while you wore the hand-me-downs of your siblings and became very self-conscious. It could be that when you went out to eat, it was considered a luxury rather than an event that you could experience often and therefore believed that mediocrity was your birthright. These types of questions trigger memories of very important and vital information regarding how your program around money was developed. Based on your answers, you may be able to see what you learned regarding how you feel about what you can achieve, how you feel about yourself and your worthiness, what you're capable of allowing into your life, what you believe about money, and the boundaries you've set for yourself that limits what you attract. Each of these answers is a key factor in your level of success in regards to money and abundance. First, realize that this isn't your fault. It's not even your parents' fault. It's simply a cycle that needs to be broken if money is something you want to attract. And if you have children, it's important to break the cycle for their benefit too. We often unconsciously pass down beliefs and behaviors that don't serve us or our offspring. And the best course of action is to create new beliefs and behaviors to demonstrate to others. So how do you fix it? By creating a new program that begins to rewire your brain and build new neural pathways of abundance. In other words, you will create a new relationship with your beliefs and begin to alter the limitations they impose on your life. You have the ability to consciously control your mindset and make this happen. You've already completed the first step of the process. You've exposed long-held and deep-seated patterns that are destructive when it comes to abundance. And now that you're aware of your fears and limitations that surround money, you can begin to shift your mindset around it. Because you've uncovered this underlying program that doesn't serve you, you can start to dismantle it and create a new program of your choosing. Go back to your piece of paper with the questions and answers and review it. 
Are there any firm beliefs regarding money that you can recognize? For instance, do you believe that you can't afford things? Or do you find yourself thinking that there isn't enough? Write down any other beliefs that stem from this program, such as, I'm not capable of earning more than $30,000 per year. Or, I always just earn enough to pay the bills. It might be, if I go out to eat, I'll feel guilty because I should be using that money for more practical things. In identifying these beliefs and consciously calling them to the surface, you have the choice to disassociate from them whenever you feel that you can't have what you want because of money. Because they've been exposed, realize that they are now weakened. They've lost their security of hiding behind a veil. Because of this, you should be able to see how your previous thought and behavioral patterns are not valuable, not truthful, and not actually you. These beliefs have chosen to hide themselves, which means they are not an authentic part of who you are. Therefore, you have a choice in each moment to think and act differently. You've brought them to the surface, now challenge them. Next, ask yourself how these beliefs have stopped your success and flow of abundance. How has this fear-based program limited your thoughts, actions, and events? If these beliefs were to be removed, what would you be free to do and experience in life? How has this program blocked you from having what you truly want? These questions trigger your subconscious mind to realize the detriment that past programming has caused you so that it can go in search of the experiences you now choose. You can ask these questions to yourself mentally or write them out for a more solidified response. If you don't have an answer immediately, simply place it to the side and come back to it when you do. Your mind will eventually give you an answer to these questions. And oftentimes, you will write an answer or two, only to realize that as the hours or days go on, you have even more answers to give. This is simply your subconscious mind providing you more reasons to remove these limited patterns, which is exactly what you are triggering it to do. The last step is to recondition. You've exposed your limiting pattern, challenged it by choosing a new way to think and act, and asked your subconscious mind to go in search of new experiences. To solidify this process, reconditioning is imperative. This is accomplished most easily through meditations and affirmations. You can write a list of affirmations that are the opposite of what your program states and read it to yourself several times per day. There are also many meditations that work great to recondition the mind, and we offer several on this channel as well as our website. Simply pick the techniques that work for you and practice them daily. In order to truly recondition your mind and create a new abundance program, you must install new positive information every single day until you begin to see a change. And even then, it's important to continue this as often as possible. In this step of reconditioning, you go beyond talking or reading about wealth and abundance. You are now creating a more empowering pattern. If you are diligent with your reconditioning, you will soon find your mindset shifting and your financial status improving. It's unlikely that you'll rewrite your new money program in a day, a week, or even a month. So be patient with yourself. The more time you spend disassociating from the old patterns, the closer you'll get to attracting the wealth that you deserve in your life. When you train your mind to think more empowering thoughts around money, you'll be surprised by the abundance that begins to flow to you. And once one dream comes true, it's amazing how the others begin to naturally follow.